I think more and more as I go through programming in life, we need to also think about what can music do to help society? And this is one of those programs where we've really designed it from that way, from the bottom up. So we're going to begin the program with Bach's Richard Carr from the musical offering, but perform with musicians in a different organization on stage in which the players all sit next to somebody who's playing a different part from them with the idea that actually in democracy, listening to others is a really centrally important thing. We continue with a piece called Cortege. This is a wonderfully constructed piece of theatre in which most of the musicians stand in a semicircle at the back of the stage and then move into the centre of the stage at different times to play solos and to hand the solo over to another player. The last piece in the first half of the programme is a very unusual piece of music by the composer Terry Riley called In C. If you were to look at the manuscript of the music, you would see not continuous writing of music, but 53 different small musical ideas. And the idea of the piece is that the players play through these different motifs, if you like, but with no director saying, now we move on to the next. They must listen to each other and decide together when to move to the next phase of the music. In a way, it's a wonderful metaphor for how you are as an individual in society. You don't want to lose your voice. You should remain as an individual in a democratic society, but you're also part of a group. As Terry Riley said, you're not an individual in a group. You're part of a group in which you are also an individual. The second half of the programme is taken up with a world premiere of four concertos of a series known as the Uncertain Four Seasons. This is a very imaginative idea born in Australia by people who use geospatial data for what might happen with climate change if we don't do something between now and 2050 to reverse biodiversity loss. And out of that, one of our composers, Carmen Fitzarotti, has taken that geospatial data about certain cities and she's written her own version of spring or summer or autumn or winter for those cities. So we hope to see you either at the concerts or following us. We have a lot of information about this tour on our social media and check in there to see what's happening with our Earth for All tour, a project which is important but also interesting.